everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome travel trailer from one of our favorite manufacturers. This one is a unique floor plan that kind of has a bunk room, but it really doesn't have a bunk room. It's great for storage or bunk beds. This is a 2022 East to West Ulta model 29 KBH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Alta and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the Alta. You guys know this East West. That's the brand that I have for motorhomes, so I'm super excited to see what the travel trailer has to offer. But before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good, Matt. You said this is one of your one of our favorite uh, brands of travel trailers. Yeah. And this is also one of our favorite dealership locations. So uh, it doesn't get much better than this. Well, this is the favorite RV. That's this right. is we're at RV one of Charleston. That's you right. guys know our good friend Elias, just the GM here. Right. So if you guys like this east to west or you want an east to west motorhome like mine, there's only one person to call. Call it. That's Elijah. We will talk to him a little bit later on in this video. Cool. Well, let's begin. All right. Model is 29KBH. Actual tip tip length is 33 feet 11 inches. The dry weight is 6,903 pounds and the hitch weight is 850 pounds. Okay. Always get weight distribution bars. So you guys know the drill. Yes. Right up here, we do have a power tongue jack. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go there. This is a nice molded fiberglass front cap. It is very Grand Design Imagine S. It is, you know yeah. It looks the same, it's shaped the same. Nice molded front cap. The paint kind of looks the same. Yeah. Something that's a little unique on the decals here. I you'll saw see that. that they're doing like a little east to west action there. I don't remember that. Is this a 23? This might be a 23. It might be. Well, this might be a 23. We don't okay. know. We will find out later inside. Right over here is very nice storage. It is. I do love the storage door, sideways swinging slam latch door. Okay. Bada bing. Bada boom. There you go, thank you, sir. Right here we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. It's going almost the whole length of the motorhome of the travel trailer. And then here, Will, is a door to the bedroom. Now, they do use these crummy aluminum folding steps, which we are not a fan of, but it is okay because they do got the solid steps down there. Yes. Coming on down the side here, Will, we do got a water heater. This does look like a 10 gallon DSI water heater. Nice window there, that's where the kitchen is. Very nice, speakers on the outside and everything. And then look at these tires, Will, they're the Goodyear Endurance tires, I love those. ST225-75R15, very nice. East to West, they do add a TV mount right here. And uh, here's your coax and cable for if you wanna watch the NASCAR race outside. And we're now, oh, you guys don't know this. Oh my right. God. You guys need to subscribe to Will and Jen because guess who's like best friends with all these NASCAR drivers now? We are. That's right. They like know us. Like we met Kyle Busch. We met Cole Custer. It'll be Sunday's, um, this coming Sunday's video. Right, this coming Sunday's. Got to check it out. Who else did we meet? Todd Gilligan. Yep. Um, and that girl watches the show. Haley Deegan. Yep. If you guys are a fan of Haley Deegan, never knew who she was in my life. She was a fan of Matt's RV reviews. Thanks, Haley. <laughs> well, and now we're fans of her. Of course. Right. Right here is another entrance. Nice handle right here. Steps and everything. So this is a 2900 KBH. Extended climate car. Heated and enclosed underbelly with heating pads on the tank. Asdell. Asdell is what East to West uses. Asdell is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. Proudly constructed in America, Will. That's right. And then here is a D-ring for you to tie up your dog. Oh man, look at this. Real you get a, like a nice, nice little fridge. No outside kitchen, but at least you get the fridge for the beverages. That's right. Stain latch doors there. Coming around the back, well, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky spiky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. And look, they're giving you the Goodyear tire. Yeah, there. that's cool. I'll uh, prep for the Fury on backup camera, and there is a ladder to get up on the roof. Will. Yep. We're going up there and take a look. All right. Here we go now. Be careful. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there, you can see that there is a little solar panel, and there's your King Air digital antenna right there. 
All right, careful coming down. Here we're going now. Last step. Oh, great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen's taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody, and then, well, look at that airplane. Oh yeah, that's, that's the new Breeze. Breeze airline. It is. Flies nice. direct from Charleston to Tampa. Breeze Airlines flies direct from Tampa to Charleston. First class plane tickets are like $200, but I have yet to ride it yet <laughs> because it never works with my schedule. Right. I can't wait though. It will happen. Right there. Electric stabilizing jacks, I love that. Right there, 30 amp unit, 30 amp service. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm all about value airlines. I want to sit first class, not because I'm bougie, because I'm big. But like to spend 600, 800, 1000 bucks is stupid. Right. But 200 bucks all day long. Right. You know? Uh, coming on down, we got windows. You can see the little bunk area there. Man, I got sweat in my eyes. Finishing up, here's where we're dumping our tanks. There's our black tank flush, low point drain. And this is what I love right here as well, Will. Very nice. Yes, sir. And then, Will, what the heck specs did I say for the weight? I don't know. What the heck? It says 6,903 pounds. This one says 7,039 pounds. Guys, you always need to check your stickers. Because of the options. That's just crazy. Mm -hmm. how, how the website can be so wrong. Um, but Will, always know before you tell. That's right. 7,039 pounds. Well, well, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Did you talk about the Asdale on the outside? Of course I did, okay. Will. Why don't, don't remember. You, why don't you listen to me and my feelings? I'm sorry. Check it out. All right, we'll start in the front. And it's 22. Okay. Bedroom up front here. This is that mid split bath here. Kitchen, living area, dining area here. And the bunks are in the back. Where are we starting today? Well, we are gonna start in that back bedroom, but first, let's give a big shout out to Lippert. <laughs> Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lippert. Did you guys know Lippert does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I wanna show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back, you can relax it, you can, you, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then, there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back, so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. All right, well, we are starting back here. Let's take a look at some of the storage. Okay. Very nice, a nice little drawer here. Okay, and this unit has the beds back here. Look at this wall that separates it. Yeah. I know other competitors, they'll, they'll do the same floor plan, but they won't have the wall. I'll tell you how I feel about that wall a little bit later. Okay. But there is a ladder to get up on the top bed. Here's that bed, and then there's storage underneath this bed. Does that flip up? It doesn't look like it. Doesn't, it doesn't, no, it does not. And um, to get in, you know what I'm saying? Yep. It's not bad, Well, It's a nice okay. sleeping area. You do have these lights right here, little USB windows here and everything. And again, this is a nice contemporary color. This is the same color scheme that I have in my motor home. You know, really nice with the furniture and everything. Check out these valances, Will. I love this. They're actually giving you the slow rise. Right, that's shades. nice. I wish my motor home had this. And then look at the colors. Yep. You know, they do a really great job with it. They do. Right here's the Allure collection. Okay. Which is theater seats. Pop this out, recline. Will, we are camping now. That's right. We got a cup holders here, nice remote holders. 
and then we kind of semi have a good spot for the TV. Yeah, if you like tilt it a little, it's yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not directly across, but I'm not also turning my head sideways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a corner angle action. Okay. Right there. It is a 39 inch Furion TV. There is deep storage above. Wow, yeah. that's very nice. Right here. Yep. So like this is how you would kind of turn it. You know yep. what I'm saying? Then you got a good angle. Um, and see this way, if you keep it like that, somebody has good angle from watching from the dinette as well. Right. Furion sound bar fireplace right there. And then look at the heat duct on the side. Notice how it's not in the floor. Right. You know what else I noticed, Will? What's that? No, no carpet, carpet in the slide out, which is very nice. Yep. Right over here, we do got more windows here. Nice little uh, light fixture. It's very Art Deco. No. Oh. Here's the dinette. We do have storage under here. Very big and nice. And then storage under here. Nice. This right here, you sit down, you can move this table. It does drop down to make a bed. It's very comfortable and nice overall, you know. Really cozy feeling. And again, I can't tell you, I can't emphasize enough how like beautiful this motorhome is. It really is. is. It's, it's good looking. They designed it well. This is a comfortable dinette. Big boy tested, big boy approved. Right. And again, every seat in here, like nobody has a great spot to the TV, but everybody can see the TV right. without being really uncomfortable. All right, well, show us this kitchen. Okay. We'll start right over here. You got a high point microwave right there. Yes, sir. Uh, range hood right there. Yes. Nice window on your camping side in front of your stove and everything. Man, look at that window. We're looking at the, you can see your kids and we're camping now. That's right. Three burner, gray stone cooktop here. No blue lights, it looks like. This is the complicated one. Mm. I think it does have the blue lights. Um, got some storage up top here. Very nice. A little bit of counter space, not solid surface. Couple drawers here. Yes. More storage up top here. All Whoops. right. Nice little two-tone spray faucet right there. Get this back up. And you have a single bowl sink right there, nice and big, with a cutting board insert. Right. Storage right there, and as you can see, it has this flip-up counter here. Flush flip-up counter, yeah. Flush and nice and big, I like that. Yep, and how do you like that backsplash there? It's okay. You I, know, I think it all goes together. Counter. Yeah. Yep, got your Furion air conditioning controls there. Again, yeah. there was two. Yeah. GFI, and then what do we got going on over there, Will? The fr uh, refrigerator right here. No, I couldn't figure that out. You just push that in. Oh, okay. And it's already nice and cold. Yeah, let's put this crappy GoPro battery in there because why is that Will? Because they always overheat. GoPros overheat on us. And then a little bit of pantry type space right there. Yes. Well Will, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Let's go inside and talk to Elijah. All right. Elijah, what is the MSRP? It's $60,045. That's expensive MSRP, but what's the sale price at RV1 of Charleston? $43. $9.95. Guys, that is for this unit here, this VIN number. Once this unit's gone, that price is gone. But Elijah, if somebody's interested in that Ulta or any East to West Ulta, how do they get in contact with you? Call the store, ask for myself, tell them you're calling for Matt's RV Reviews. Burr, 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 burr. The phone number is 843-900-2140. That's 843-900-2140. Perfect, and it, again, especially call if you live close to the South Carolina yep. area and you like or that not, unit. Or not, we'll take care of you, I promise. Now, Will, Yeah. notice the MSRP here, That's it's only $2,000 off to $50,179. Right. Elijah told us a better price than that. He sure did. So guys, listen, don't come to the dealership, don't tell them that you don't watch, call Elijah. He will take good care of you, and he's going to make sure that you guys always get a great price, great service, and the best experience. That's right. All right, well, stay in that shower. Okay. This is actually a really nice shower, I think. Yep, good head height, good width, good depth. This actually is much better than I expected. Definitely passes. Ding! That's the shower test seal of approval. And a nice little curtain. Yeah, right there. So here we do have nice cubbies. Okay, and Will, that, that position does look pretty it juicy looks great, right there. Yeah. Right over here, this is your medicine cabinet. Nice little sink area. Storage underneath right there as well. Okay. A little bit of storage here, and then Will, 
We're having a seat. Okay. Porcelain. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. All right, and then we're coming into the bedroom area. A little bit of trim falling off, no big deal. Trim, trimmy, trim. You know there's gonna be somebody, oh my God, that's so unacceptable. Right. Hey man, this is a little staple. We'll staple it back for you. No big deal. Hey, Hakuna Matata. That's right. Right here, we do got storage right there. Nice little drawers here. Man. This is unacceptable. Airstreams don't do this. <laughs> so one, Airstreams do do this. They do. And then two, Airstreams are $112,000, $160,000. Right. So storage here and here. And right there, power USB, king size bed. Yes, power USB, king size bed, and there's little nooks For your back CPAP. there in the corner as well. Love this king size bed, but whoa, there's also something else. Yeah, it flips up, right? Yes, sir. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, so it flips up just like this. Um, and then underneath here. The drawers, right? Right, you got drawers there and here. And then it's good for storage as well. Of course. Well, Will, also there's a TV that mounts in the bedroom. Well, Will, that's it and that's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we like about this travel trailer, three things we just don't like about it, Will. What do we do first? Three things we dislike. First? Yeah. I got two. Okay, it's gonna be hard for me. But well, go ahead, you start. Good thing I have two. Okay. You ready? Yep. I don't like this flip up bed. Okay. Coachman does a lot better job flipping it all the way up so you can actually get yeah. changed here. You can actually stand here. You don't need to crawl under the bed to access that storage there. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the concept, but they didn't execute that very well. Yep. That's number one. Will? They're watching right now, shaking their heads. <laughs> we just call it as we see it. That's number one. Well, do you know what number two is? The wall. I don't like the wall here. Now, I'm trying to record. No. <laughs> well, I don't like the wall here because to me, it's just closed off some. Yeah. Now, I can see this as being a big benefit where it's like, well, hey, the kids kind of have their own room. Right, see, so it would be a positive, I think. It's a positive and a negative. Yeah. Um, but for me, I think it's a negative. I'm not a super huge fan of that. That's number two. And then, Will, do you have a number third? Um, Was there anything outside? Here, I got one. I got one. Here's what I will say, Will. Um, over here, it's just a small kitchen area. True. You know, um, it just is what it is. This is a long 34-foot travel trailer at the end of the day. The bathroom is huge. H to the, to the U, to the G, to the E. Right. Um, And they could have done something to give you a little bit more counter space for the kitchen. Right. Is that a dog bowl down there? I think we missed that. Good gosh, Will. Will, I'm finding somebody else. Somebody who won't <laughs> neglect the dogs. Okay. Sure there is. you go, man. I love that. Well, Will, that was three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about the Alta. Would you like to go first? I can, but I'm going to steal the best. Go! I love this bathroom. Steal it! It's nice and big. Great toilet placement. Good room to get in here, get dressed. Nice big sink. I love it. Will, sometimes we don't need to save the best for last. Right. Uh, that's number one. Well, number two for me, I'm going to save this huge window right yeah, here. Yeah, that's really nice. This huge window is so nice. I really like it. Um, just lets in so much natural light. I'm going to combo that with those slow rise shades as well. Like, I wish my motorhome had that, you know? Right. That's number two. And then, Will, do you have a number three? Yes. Um, this goes for all the Altas, but the king bed, honestly. That's a huge, huge, huge selling point for me. Yep. And it's hard to get that in travel trailers. Well, so. king bed, enclosed underbelly, yeah. as dealt. And then I'm going to add one thing. Since it said king bed, that means bedroom. I like that second door to the Correct. RV. I like that, too. You know, I hate walk-through bathrooms like this has. But it's only acceptable if there's two doors. Right. Which it does have two doors, which means... What? It's acceptable. Oh. <laughs> Will. I wasn't picking up what you were putting down. Will, I like set it right down in front of I you. I know. And, and you just left it there. Right. You littered in the Alta. <laughs> well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this unit and you live near South Carolina, please call Elijah. He's our best friend. And we know, so one, any RV one's gonna take care of you. 
But we know Elias is going to make sure that you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Or if you don't live anywhere close by, go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab, and we'll hook you up with the closest dealer partner to you. Will, That's right. what do you want to say to America? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really like the Altas. We'll probably hit a couple of them while we're here. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Um, East to West is one of the smaller companies, newer up and coming. They do watch our videos, and they will listen to your feedback. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, yes, so much for watching, you. and we'll, we'll we'll see you next time.